Everybody's hungry. This is what I mean by these chickens are not that intelligent. This chicken got himself stuck in here. Oh, 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 there we go. Mommy, are you good? Oh my. Watch out. That's how you probably got stuck in there in the first place. Zelly, get out of there. Come here. You can turn it off. Oh, hi. You want some food? <laughs> hi, Rosa. Is last? You hungry? She going to let you eat, Frank? I still have water, that's good. Good pig, aren't you, Heidi? Mm. Oh, really? What's going on, ladies? Hmm? Guys, welcome back. I want to give you another garden tour. It is almost July 1st so um, everything is really starting to grow out and fill out in our garden and it's just exciting to see it. All right guys so we're almost down here. We just moved these uh, laying chickens yesterday so they're on fresh grass here you can see they're very happily pecking around they were actually at the spot back there where it's really really brown um, and it was just worn out and here's Lou hi Lou we're gonna try something for his nose his nose they do this every summer hi buddy oh I forgot that electric fence was on oh my gosh um his nose it gets like these fly things so we're gonna put aloe on it and try and put petroleum jelly on it. And the same thing is on Zelly's ears. Let's go look over here. And here's the meat chickens. They're about a week and a half to two weeks from being ready to be butchered. And we weren't planning on doing this batch. Come here, Zelly girl. But the butcher that we tried to set something up with two months ago said he's too busy. So we're gonna be butchering them. <laughs> Come here, Zelly girl. Come here. Come here, baby. Come on. Oh, he thinks I'm going to give him attention. <sighs> Come here. Look at her ears. They're just a mess. I don't know if you can see them. They're all bloody. She's not going to come because of all the lawnmowers next door. But you could see them a little bit from here. Right, so some of these things that we planted in the garden, we actually cannot eat on the GAPS diet, but the hope is by the time these products are ready, we can either try them because we can, uh, we're growing it and it's in season. So that's definitely a benefit from eating out of your garden versus just eating from the store, um, even if it's organic. But, um, or if we can't tolerate them, we'll freeze them for the winter when we can, try them again, or we will let the corn dry on the cob. And this will significantly give or give us significantly more seeds than you can buy in a packet for four to six or ten dollars or whatever it is. But so seed saving. And I only have one kind of corn, certain um, crops co cross pollinate. So if I had my neighbors growing corn, which I don't because there's woods, yeah, there's woods all around. And over here in front, there's no corn. and nothing over there so the odds of it cross-pollinating and giving us a corn that we don't want um, is very unlikely all right in this corn bed we have a random carrot uh, it's not ready if I were if this was the size of a quarter at the top it would be ready 
We have some sort of squash vines. I don't know if these are spaghetti squash or butternut. Sometimes my trays get mixed up when we bring them down for planting. But this right here is like really an ideal situation. You have these beans climbing up the corn and then something as a ground cover across the bottom. And I actually planted mint in here because I am going to change all of these perennial beds in here or all these raised beds to perennial garden beds. This garden had carrots in it. We left the last few in and we planted, where are they? I don't know, here's one, a strawberry, which we're desperately in need of rain for. So this will be a strawberry garden bed. So this was cucumbers. Oh, here's one, almost ready. This one's probably ready because it's not about how long they are, it's about how wide they are. And this would be a really good crispy cucumber or pickle. These are a pickling kind of cucumber. Our cucumbers down here. And on the other side, so these two raised beds will eventually be um, herb beds. We have parsley, cilantro, some dill that's really tall right here and oregano and lemon thyme. This is ashwagandha. I don't really know. There's even bugs on this, bug eggs. I didn't really care much about that, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Beans, cilantro. Some more vining um, squashes. I actually thought these were all cucumbers. And Stop, please, I don't want Heidi to get out. They were gonna go up this trellis, but they were actually squashes. <laughs> So they're probably overplanted. See, this is gonna be a butternut squash. It's curly. Isn't that fun? Yeah. And all these little ones after it. Oh, look, this one's like rotting off, you can tell. It's like yellowy at the end and browny. Um, some zucchinis. Let's see. So this is blossom and rot. This means it doesn't have enough nutrients to make a squash. We might try to eat the top of that. We really need scissors to cut them off, but the other ones look good. We'll probably harvest those in a few days. These strawberries, I actually am also gonna put in one of the beds that we just were looking at. Um, this whole row is tomatoes, which are starting to put on fruit, which is a great, and we planted lettuce underneath it to take advantage of um, the space underneath. We are losing some cucumbers. They're very kind of sick looking. I didn't get out here to spray any baking soda spray, but that's all right. That's the way it goes sometimes. We cut down, oh, these were all lettuces. They're getting, they were bolting. I probably could have left one or two for seed, but I didn't. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's okay. And these also, so these cucumbers look a lot better and I planted seeds in here. So hopefully these will um, give us cucumbers when these finally die, but they still give us, here's a good one. Can I eat one? I'll cut it. Please stop yelling. It's just, I already got my hand on it. You want to hold them both? I found one that is not done. So there's the cucumbers. Almost, not yet. Carrots kind of finishing up in here. And at the end, there's some potatoes by that watering can. In that watering can, this is the first time I've ever done this, but we I tried dusting flour on this kale and it did nothing. Um, we had caterpillars everywhere, as you can tell. They ate these whole kale leaves. And I never do anything about it. So I usually don't ever do anything to my kale and we just don't ever harvest kale in the summer because there's caterpillars all over it. But I was like, I'm gonna try BT. It's back, a bacteria that kills caterpillars and I don't see any more caterpillars on this kale. And it's not just kale, we have broccoli in here. So after you cut the main stem of broccoli, it sends up these little shoots. You guys can cut this off right here if you want. Um, here's another one. That probably was supposed to be a main head, but it's just getting summertime. There's some more. So you can see a dead caterpillar. Uh, I don't know what that is. That might be caterpillar poop. So it appears the BT has already worked. Now I have a whole jug of BT water that I need to use. I'm sure they'll be back. The cabbage moss will probably be back. But So what did we put in this garden? Um, I think this is a garden that we just weeded. I found a random dill plant 
Can somebody grab my cobra head? I think I'm gonna, oh, I'm letting some beets go to seed right here and some carrots finish up and then I will need to plant this garden soon. And I'll need to plant this one right next to it. Peas, we're letting go to seed once again. Oh, is it a big one? These cucumbers are really taking a hit this year. So I will plant beets, carrots, cabbages, probably in here for the fall. That is definitely ready, boys. Let's see, is it ready? Yeah, that's good. So these are Eliza Craig onions and some sort of beet that gets really long. We don't eat tons of beets, but we have a really good pickled beets recipe that is working well. And we can saute these green tops while the kale is um, rejuvenating. This, one out. this is this garden. No, not yet. I don't want any beets pulled yet. This garden is going to be uh, fall raspberries. This one and the one right next to it. These sweet potatoes are starting to grow and look really good. Um, I sh showed you in the previous video about how we grew these slips from sweet potatoes we grew last year. Aren't these pretty flowers? These are actually carrot flowers. So, I don't know why I did this because I already have tons of carrot seeds, but I'm going to have tons to share, that's for sure. And kale seeds. I let the kale go to seed this year. Oh, look at all this. So you'll just, I'll rub this pot apart and there's all the little seeds. Beets hidden in here. This garden will need, I planted onions in here and they did not do anything. I guess because I wasn't good at watering them. The radar said it was supposed to keep raining and it didn't and so I forgot. And that there's the raspberry I was talking about right here. This garden is coming along. There's some potatoes. Now I did end up sprinkling diatomaceous earth. Oh, I probably should do it again. You see all these little potato beetles? I think that's what they are. They really, I never have a good crop of potatoes because they're eating all the leaves. And then these are more carrots that haven't gone to seed that are almost ready. Over here, we cleared out all of our garlic. And I planted a whole bunch of calendula. I'm hoping this garden will be calendulas and dill, which is not sprouting either, probably because of the lack of rain. <laughs> I just planted some cucumber seedlings and big pumpkins and butternuts to try to get another round of cucumbers. You can see all those sprouts. And these onions are coming along. These are flat of Italy. I picked one of these and it smelled amazing. It smelled like pizza. And this lettuce, so this lettuce is going to seed. So maybe I'll let that go to seed by itself. There's more tomatoes along this fence line. Here's our basil we keep pinching off. We haven't weeded in here yet. Um, this lemon basil down there, it just smells really amazing. And the cinnamon basil, Kind of an anise -y. Yeah, definitely more anise um, licorice than cinnamon smelling to me. What is it? Next row over, I've been pinching off our zinnias. But all the pinching to get these pretty flowers. And these are called celosia. Um, yeah, they're just fun flowers. Sometimes the blooms get really big and odd shaped. More zinnias and our lettuce bowls. Okay, so this whole aisle, I don't know if you can see these little tomatoes. These were suckers off of our other tomatoes, right over here, and all the ones actually in the garden. And they looked terrible. They were dead looking. Um, when we, we just stuck them in the ground. But I did try to water these for like three days and they all look pretty good. You can see them, I mean, pretty good for being suckers that we didn't take much care of. See, this is, they looked a little worse than this. Here's one. So it goes all the way down to these ground cherries. Oh, tomato. These are the ground cherries. They look like they get those bugs too. So. You can see, you can tell the soil isn't fantastic. That's all these plants are just not doing fantastic. They're not doing terrible, but 
I really want to start making our own compost. This whole spot over here is potatoes with weeds. It's supposed to have onions in it. Back here you can tell along the fence line, but everything took over and I doubt we're gonna have any storage onions. More tomatoes on this fence. Peppers all up in here. They're coming along. Some of them are putting on flowers, but it's still a little early for peppers. I think these are snapdragons I planted, which might come back if the weather's okay, a mild winter. These pretty lovely trees, if you remember, are elderberries. And here's, if I wanted to, I could put these flowers and dry these and it would bake an elderberry flower tea, which is really delicious. We actually infused honey with those. All right, so we have a few flowers in here. These little flowers right here are called four o'clocks. They're really pretty. But I just planted those for fun. You actually cannot eat those, they're poisonous. My iron corn wheat is coming up. Like I said, I can tell the soil's not fantastic, but it's here. I don't even know if these are wheat or weeds, but I'm hoping it's wheat because I worked hard to keep watering this. And then we got our sunflowers and corn and melons and some beans back there. Over here, we have a mountain of pumpkins. It's crazy, crazy. Uh, let's see if we can find one. These pumpkins, so <laughs> there's a fun, so that is actually yarrow, which is an a herb that you can do. It's a medicinal type herb. Um, but under these pumpkins, so last year when we butchered our chickens, so we don't waste anything of the chicken. It's all reused on the farm. And we buried all the guts, because this is before we had pigs, because we gave the guts to our pigs this year, and which is disgusting to see them eat, but they liked it. So we buried it here with dirt, and it's been probably at least a year. And I'm pretty sure that's why these pumpkins are going crazy. It's just amazing um, how much growth there is. Let's see, oh, yep, yeah, we got some little ones in there. I'm sure there's some more somewhere. So there we got, this one's really putting out a long tendril, or vine, not tendril. Ugh. So we have raspberries, black raspberries. They're not ready yet, baby. No, they're not ready. Um, Black raspberries coming in. Bella, will you watch her, please? And they spread, so that's nice. Over here, the next big thing we're waiting on is blackberries which need rain i think they really need some water because they are kind of small right now and dried up looking over here we only have a few peaches left on this peach tree i don't think we're gonna get much of a harvest um but that's all right i guess that's part of it there's one more thing I need to check on. There's a, a plum tree that was like overloaded with aphids a few, probably a month ago. And I saw a few ladybugs by this tree. And I don't see any aphids. They were all over these branches. You can kind of see the leaves, how they're like really destroyed. They don't eat the leaves, but they just really suck out sap out of the branches. That's incredible that the ladybugs took care of the problem. Yeah, you can probably see all the destruction on the bottom of this branch from the aphids. Oh, I can almost crack that branch. That's crazy. They were covered on like half this tree. So sometimes, it seems just like with our health, sometimes when we just let things when we're doing things right, so we're not eating processed food and, you know, obviously I believe the GAPS diet is a way for us, for our bodies to reset. But in nature, sometimes we just let things happen and sometimes you will lose crops because of that. But in reality, it wasn't really supposed to be there. You know, we're planting things in different environments. I mean, I have bitter melon from India 
And it just seems that when we allow things to happen, there's always something else to take care of the problem. And it's really nice to know that it doesn't always rely on me. Like God's creation is already perfect and it's already what it needs to be. And I'm gonna do what I need to do and do things the way I think they're supposed to be done. Like I'm going to work hard to make the food that I need to heal because I believe that's how we were supposed to eat. But God's gonna take care of the rest. God designed my body to do these things and to help to heal itself. Just like the, the way this whole ecosystem works where we live. That's why I couldn't find any black raspberries, huh? <laughs> That's right. Um, well, there's only four. I already so, had one. Oh, okay. Remember? So but, everybody uh, else can have one. Yep. Except Anne. Yeah, Orn. Yeah, Orn, yeah. Orn, you need to go get a detox bath right now. Because we're trying to get that stuff off your face. Already. Well, let's go look at it. Mm -hmm. There's always a cat in my garden. I'm sure that doesn't help my wheat grow. Come here. We're going to find Orin's cucumber. A fat one. Yeah. Fat right cucumber? Oh, um, yeah, you can pick those two. Dad did yesterday. Dad got the, the chicken and gave it to the pigs. Hold on, I'll come over there. Good job. Um, yeah, that's ready. So it's all about how wide it is because it doesn't get taller once it gets wide. Yeah, yeah this needs to be weeded too. Ugh. Mama, that's what happens when you throw gardens together, but I think it was worth it. This year in the garden, I've really, really focused on, and it's partly because, well, I should say the weeks I'm not sleeping 14 hours a day. <laughs> I am doing everything I can to come out here at least twice a week to weed. Um, the more we can get the weeds under control, the less they're going to seed and spreading weeds. And um, planting, continuous planting, which I usually am like, oh, my cucumbers are going to die soon. And I don't think it's July. What's wrong? Oh, my gosh. They're in the freaking dog food. So, look, somehow that dog food fell over. This is the hassle of doing it. We had a good setup where the chickens couldn't get into this in our previous coop over here. But, these stupid chickens. No, there's no reason for everybody to go in there. Julie's gonna fix it. Anyways, the dog food. We are, um, you should see this. He thinks he buried his bone. <laughs> It's not very big. Uh, succession sewing is what I'm really trying to do this year. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Dee. You're beautiful and you're cute. Or nice? Yeah. Can you say or nice? Okay. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do.